Hey folks, we're here to do a crew review of the Jura Giga W3, and it says professional as well. Hey, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and I'm gonna give you all the lowdown on the features of this machine. This is a very big machine with a lot of programmability, a lot of beans, water, and the whole deal. So bear with me. I mean, there's a lot to talk about here. This has a three pound bean hopper and the bean hopper comes off too. I won't drag you back here, but you have a stop the grinder, shut off the beans and lift it out. There we go. I mean, you can change the beans then. So all you have to do is pull this and it'll dump. It's a huge hopper, huge, huge. Got a rubber seal around the lid here. I can feel that. That's kind of nice to keep everything fresh. And if you look on the front there, you'll see this machine gets disabled when you, um, you can't use it without this lid in place. So that's the bean hopper. That's just one portion, right? Here's the rest. Let's look at the uh, water tank is over here. I said three pounds five liters of water. Look at this thing. Olympic size swimming pool, not just your swimming pool. This is a machine that's really uh, rated to be for a small office. Anywhere where you want to do a lot of volume. Jura says it's capable of doing 120 drinks a day. So great for an office. I can't say enough about that drip tray down here. Again, here's your dregs box and it sits in an island right here in the middle. Look at the drip tray. Even it's huge. It would have to be if you're going to do 120 drinks a day. Not that you wouldn't have to empty it, but still very big. It's got spouts right here that go up and down. Butterfly, just like uh, most of the Jura products have these days. Look at the cup clearance. I'm going to give that, I don't know, I won't say because you'll quote me on it. I don't have a tape measure to measure it, but it goes right down. Water spout right here, again, up and down. Uh, you can dispense water out of here, and in the program mode, you can actually get in there and do a portion, and it'll stop, or continuous. Push the water button on, a con on the continuous water. It'll just keep flowing until, well, hello. <laughs> I didn't ask for that, but hey, cleaning the milk system. Must have thought I made a milk drink, which I did a little bit ago, but you know. So as soon as this stops, I'm going to show you on off right here. There's another master switch for the on off in the back as well. It's heating up. I'll show you the program mode. Right back here, bypass doser, two scoops, just like all Jura machines. It's plastic. Nice plastic, though. I would say Jura does a really good job on that. They do not give you a uh, thermal container for the milk. It is a hose like this. Put your own container down there. You could hook it up to the cool control, something like that. Have it refrigerated all day long. I'm going to put that in there because I am going to make a drink. All right, so here's the different drinks. Ristretto Espresso Coffee, Flat White, Latte Macchiato, and a Cappuccino and then a portion of milk and hot water. Those are your basics. Now I can get in there and I can program every one of those for exactly what I want. Now up here with the turn dial, I can get into, here's a ristretto, two ristrettos. Whatever you have the ristretto program for, it's gonna make double. Same thing with the espresso. Plus, let's go to the way to the other end. Look at all these drinks. See, hot water, continuous hot water portioned, whatever you have it prepared or uh, programmed for. And down here at this end, look at this, jug. You can program this thing to make a fuller cup of coffee. Uh, you could, it, what it does is it, you can do it in portions. You can do one portion of a jug in the programming or you can do up to five portions. So a portion I think was about 120 milliliters. So divide it or multiply it times two, three, four, or five, and that's what you're going to end up with. 
I made two portions and it made a uh, about an eight ounce cup of coffee. Hot, hot, hot as well. It was a crema coffee, very good. All right, let's go up here again. It also has recipes. Look at that. Let's go back to, let's go to this one, prepare. All right, next, it shows what it looks like. And then it gives you a recipe on how to make it. Does it all for you. You don't have to get into your computer into Epicurious. You're just gonna have it right there. Not that, I'm not sure they're good for drinks, but they're good for other stuff. All right, so, program mode. You can have it come on in the morning. You can have it go off after a certain amount of time. Expert mode. Uh, this is, uh, th these are the classics that they're already programmed in. Let's go back. Expert mode. You can now proportion out whatever you want. Amount of coffee, milk, foam, not just, you know, frothed milk. How much milk you want versus how much foam you want. Strength of the coffee, temperature, and... It's all programmed. I mean, it's unbelievable. This thing is, let's go to, uh, oh, you can change the name of the products. All of these products up, yeah, let's get out of there. All these products up here on this end, the drinks, the coffee drinks, you can change the name of that if you like. You can get in there. So you can see there's 29 out of 40. That was 29 out of 40. 40 different options in here that you can change, program, put a name to, all kinds of stuff. This thing is unbelievable. Can you imagine having this in your office? Gosh. Yeah, I can imagine it. It's a little pricey, but if you think about 120 drinks a day uh, at your office, most machines are not rated for that. Bear in mind, this is not NSF rated. So this is not for a restaurant or a cafe or anything like that. This is rated for a high volume, but something where you don't need the NSF. So what am I gonna make? I'm gonna make a flat white. The milk comes out back here. Look at the light, see the light? Milk, coffee comes out here. So with the flat white, we made a cappuccino earlier and it did the milk first and then the coffee. This is just the opposite on the flat white. Coffee first, milk portion, then the foam. And see, we have it programmed for 50 milliliters. And then the amount of milk, 12 seconds. And that's just hot milk. Now, see turn to foam? 10 seconds, we have it programmed for. It's gonna go right to the top of this cup. <laughs> ah. You know, we programmed it once and then we, we thought, oh, we're gonna have to get back in there and program it again. We were just about to stop it and it stopped itself. So we did it right the first time. So there is a flat white and I found it to be very creamy and tasty. Mmm, that milk is really good and that's 2%. It's not like it's whole milk. Mmm, it's very good and it's very hot as well. This is one of the hotter machines. So, if you have an office that requires a Olympic sized swimming pool and a bean harbor worthy of a roastery, I'm just saying, and all the capacities and all the drinks and everything else, this is probably a great choice for you. If you don't need this kind of volume at your house, unless you have 12 people living there, probably wouldn't want it at home, but hey, there's other Jura products that you can put in your home. So check it out on our webpage. The rest of the stats are there. Uh, comments down below, any questions, write and ask those questions. And uh, thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.